Welcome to Drafting and Design Center. Drafting and Design Center provides hybrid services in engineering as well as training field. To visit more about our services, please visit at www.draftinganddesigncenter.com. In this short tutorial video, I will go through how we can use Civil 3D in creation of ground profile. I have my subdivision as you can see on the screen. There is a first road or primary road and there is a secondary road. I would like to create a ground profile of this road. To do that, once your alarm is ready to go, you can then go to the profile and create a surface profile. Once you click on that, the screen will prompt you. You can select the surface which is existing ground surface in my case. Add. It will ask you which change. It will automatically select the change of the alignment 0 to 468.42 meter. Click draw profile view. The alignment is first read. Profile view name, which is uh, first street profile. There is a different way of a different style. You can choose a different style as you like. I'm selecting a standard. The layer is itself assigned. You can change the layer if you like. Next, uh, it will ask you which station range, which is start to end change. You can have a profile within specified change only. In my case, I want everything. Profile view height. It will have a starting height of 32.96 as you can see on a screen to maximum of 47.19. You can specify by selecting user specific. Maybe I want 25 to 50. In the case if you like to have more exactuative view. I'm not changing this setting. Next. Select your surface. You want to draw and clipboard. Next. There is no pipe network, you do not have to select right now. This is band. I'm selecting elevation in station. So there is a, it's a, the band has selected. I am selecting this band I want, which is uh, the band style is is this is empty band. I want this band elevation station. I click on that. So it's up. It will select it. Next. If you like to see current field area, field area and multiple boundaries, you can see and define the boundaries, which is. Uh, Upper boundary is a surface, lower boundary is style is basic. You can choose different style as well. Right now I'm not selecting this, so I will just deselect this one and then create a profile view. Upon clicking this, it will ask you to select the profile view OG. I'm ask putting profile view near my alignment which is here and as you can see that your ground profile is is there it will have major station minor station elevation 
and then Janish and sta Station. You can then select it. Profile property. If you like to have a major grid, apply. Okay, but that's this is how it looks like. So major grids are appearing at 0, 140, and all these dark blue lines. Let's change the style profile with property. Elevation is user specified 25 to 50 meter. Are they accurately reflected? So 25 to 50, that's okay. I would like to change a little bit. So at the bottom, I'm not selecting this one. I'm selecting label, elevation, and station. This apply. Okay. As you can see here, much more clear and accurate view. First profile. You can also you can also go to tilt the profile. Just it is hang, so be with us. Can select the profile and then go into the view style you then come up with this dialog box there is a scale uh, which is able to you can change apply and okay as you can see the chain is now changed view style grid you can have a different grid system title annotation you can have a different way of annotating this title here i'm not selecting anything right now you can change the interval and text size for horizontal as well as vertical axis from here Right now, I'm not changing anything except the scale, which I'm happy with. If I want to see the ground slope all the way around, I can click the here, the ground surface, edit profile label. I would like to have a lines, slope, grade. Add it, apply. Uh, the weeding factor is the one okay. When applying that, you can see that everything is just got together, nothing wrong in it. But because the text size is very uh, small, it's just getting it together. You can also change this by changing the scale, but that will be very. very annoying and uh, time consuming and also not comfortable you can click here and it will give you grade at that station you can drag it and make it apart if you're happy with uh, which is i'm not doing right now what i'll then do is i will apply reading factor reading factor controls the frequency so applying that 
and add it profile labels and then reading vector I'm putting it as a 20 apply okay should be much I believe uh, wait. Ten. So ten looks right bidding factor. You can have able to see the slope. You can have even less bidding factor if you like it. Okay, so I'm happy with this reading factor, which will give me a grade all the way around. And you can visualize the grade by looking at it. This three two percentage. If you can click here, it will give you grade at the spot. You can also inquire about the station elevation by clicking Add View Label and clicking Station Elevation. It will ask you to select the profile view, which is this one, and then you can drag to any place and you can inquire station elevation at that point. And if you want to get rid of it, select that one and apply delete. So that's uh, uh, pretty much it. So in this video we have looked how we can create a ground profile from uh, provided alignment and then once the ground profile is created how we can change the style, bands, grades and labeling in a, in a, in a surface profile view. Once again, thanks for watching. If you have any comment, send us at drafting at designcenter.com. And, uh, and uh, if you would like to inquire about other services, please get in touch. Once again, thank you very much.